timber looks like something out of a western mine not an anthracite some sort of beam looks like an old barn beam vein of coal it's to the right gives you an idea with that little beam size it's about four feet only can't stand up there just such an interesting little setup. So right here at the bottom of the slope, that beam is, they put a small narrow gauge railroad spike in this crack because they were worried about it coming down. So they put that nice and snug and they would pull on it from time to time to see if it was loose. And if it was loose, that meant that the crack was getting worse. And a collapse was probably imminent. This was just a nice little early warning. Possible ceiling collapse. And you can see how this top rock has like a natural wave to it and it's delaminated from the rest of the top rock. Some sort of issue with it from when it was formed and separating from there. miners had to contend with. That's a lot of rock. I'm sure it's not done coming down. This really has to be the lowest vein of coal I've seen worked. Not even close to two feet. Well under 24 inches. So there's the coal vein that they were chasing. Here's the main gangway gob wall that's become load bearing from the pillar rotting they were doing. So they're removing the coal supports on that side and then propping them up with that waste rock rotting. There's a collapse. So here's the other coal pillar. It's a coal pillar. Coal pillar which actually holds the roof up. These timbers just act as a warning device for when the roof is settling, which it has, because look at that timber. That's not from rot, that is settled. And here's the little one working. Unbelievable. I mean, that's not even a foot underneath that geologic formation there. In good condition, hasn't come down clean. Yeah, nice coal, I mean, it's super low. It appears to be pretty quality coal. first-person view of how low it actually is. Damn. And these workings just have small pillar supports separating all the voidage. It's a brutal crawl. Very 
brutal. That's what they were chasing. Wow, that is peacock coal. Like a rainbow coal. Pretty high grade stuff. And for scale. Unbelievably low. Wet. Miserable. I like whatever's going on geologically here. It's cool. It's like a little mountain. And this was mined in the 1950s, according to the maps. It's a modern mine. So, on the vein of coal here, at the face, you can see the rainbowing effect from the high-grade anthracite. It's got the purples, the blues, the greens, the violets, the oranges. It's just very good quality anthracite and that's why they were willing to put up with these low vein conditions because it was very good quality coal and it helps when you got a good top a good bottom too i mean they did a good amount of pillar robbing here but it's there's virtually no collapse in this thing all right cool appreciate that So there's some sort of geologic process here. Almost looks like a little upside down mountain range. A little bit of fossil. Reverse imprint right there. A tree. See the bark. This is as close to time travel as you can get. Look at that. You see how that rolls in a straight line right down there? It rolls in a straight line. It's like a mini roll. On the maps, it'll actually say roll for, it looks like a Tootsie Roll. You'll see these formations in the mines sometimes. Like a geologic fault almost. Almost like a small roll. And the orange on that roof is just gorgeous. Takes me back in time, man. I'm right back in the 50s. Gotta love it. That's how it's done. <laughs> Another low vein working right off of the other one. Coal is delicious looking. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Got really cool geologic formations in it. Rises up and dips down. This is the main haulage gangway. And when the coal cars were down here, because it's so low, once they were topped with coal, they would almost be scraping the roof, undoubtedly. Just big enough for one set of tracks. It's in great condition. So the gob walls are off to the right here, and then the low vein workings are off to the left. Not a comfortable mine to work in, but I've been told that some guys preferred to work in low vein conditions. I couldn't do that though. So 
So as you can see, this water dripping down, it seems to be something that's been going on for a long time, looking from the erosion and all. Most likely a flooded gangway on top of us on the next level, perhaps. Could be flooded working, or it could just be groundwater finding its way through the rock strata. And this is the first mine opening that it's come into contact with. I'd have to look at the map. But beyond that, this is where the gangway stopped extending. Um, they did not make the gangway any further up. There's good coal to the right and to the left, and it's not backfilled. So most likely late 1950s, early 1960s, and they didn't advance the mine any further just due to the economic situation of the industry. It was collapsing and dying. So that's why this mine was not driven any further. Timbering. So I wasn't kidding when I said this was some low vein stuff. That's a can of beer from the 90s. So that gives you an idea of the scale. That's a 12 ounce can. So two and a half beer cans in height. There's the coal back there. the gangway. People back in the 90s used to go out in the woods and do stuff and drink beer in abandoned mines. Pretty cool. People don't really do outdoorsy stuff like this anymore. And that's the end of this mine right there. Just a sea of small timbers and that pitch is going downward standing in the gangway gob wall I don't know if there's another gangway down there I have to consult maps it's the gangway Same series of workings. Coal vein just goes down this way, on this side of the gangway, and then on this side of the gangway it pitches upward. Gorgeous vein of anthracite coal. Look at that gorgeous vein of coal. So lovely. Anthracite coal is the rarest type of coal and the overwhelming amount of planets reserve of it is here in Pennsylvania. Beautiful. It's a small vein, but it is a photogenic vein. So this just acted as a road network for the coal mine cars. And this was just for hauling coal. So the workers would mine the coal from the workings, send it down a chute into the coal car, and then they would move the coal cars throughout the network of gangways and up and out of this slope. Textbook gobbing. So again, this is where coal was completely robbed out. They removed the pillars and then they took their waste rock and they stacked it much like a wall of stacked rock acting as a property boundary on an old farm. Except this becomes load bearing as the roof settles down and onto the gob rock. 
thus being a man-made coal pillar in a sense it's just to prevent collapse and it was a good way of getting rid of your waste rock So low vein workings, pitching upward. There's a coal pillar. That's what actually held the roof up. The coal that was in reserve. This pillar. And here they started robbing the pillar. So they're chipping away at it. So I'm just standing in the old gangway, and this used to have rail ties and narrow gauge mine rail on it. So it was just like a small rail bed, and it was just used for hauling coal. So off to the right, we have the low vein coal that pitches upward. The same vein off to the other side are old sealed off workings that are now gobbed for structural support, but when they were actively mining these workings, they'd bring the coal cars up here, they would have a chute, little metal chute or wood or whatever, and they would put the coal in the chute, send it down right into the coal car, and then they would take the coal car out and off to the breaker. So again, this is just a road network, the gangway for hauling the coal out of the mine itself. It's a cool geologic formation. And it worried them a little bit. That's why they put that timber right there. And their timber right there. And they were beginning to rob that pillar. But look at this geologic formation. Very cool. Such low vein workings. Not even two feet. They earn their pay. A lot of coal left. A lot. I don't envy them having to mine this. You can see how shiny the anthracite is. I think that was just a dugout area for miners to take refuge if a trip of cars was passing by and they didn't want to get crushed. Could be mistaken, however. That looks like it. It was just that. Impressive geology overhead. So yeah, only about two water balls high is that vein of coal. Not an easy way to make a dollar. So if you like claustrophobic low vein workings, this mine is for you. We're robbing these pillars out. Gorgeous, gorgeous, shiny vein of anthracite.
why they left just that little bit of pillar support, I don't know. I guess just in case. Or the mine closed before they had a chance to get it all out. Nature is beautiful. So on the roof of the gangways and also the workings, you'll see numbers and little holes. And these were for surveying, just so they knew where they were in relation to the surface for proper maps and royalty payments. And they were very accurate. Low vein vastness. Echo! A little bit of coal there, not much. Voidage. Echo! Echo! A little bag. There's a timber. That's bowing under some of the pressure when they placed it. A little bit of pillar support back there, not much. Slabbed out pillar there. Gangway goes up. That's towards the end of the mine. Not much to indicate that there was once a railroad here back in the day. There's some of the wooden ties and on the rock there. You can see where the wire rope wore into the rock so they would have a hoist and there would be wire rope affixed to it. And they would hoist out coal cars by tying the wire rope to the coal car itself, hauling it out. And often the wire rope would rub against this rock and it would leave indentations into the rock itself. Think about that force required. Awesome. Check out this panorama. Nice square timber. Another square timber. That's all coal. Obviously where all this voidage is was once coal. But it's been mined out. I love geology in the mines, but this one has really cool, well-defined geology. Here's your bottom rock. Here's your vein of coal. And the roof, so the top rock, in great condition in this mine. Like no collapse, just that little bit near the entrance. Unbelievable. Really smooth, nice top rock. A very photogenic vein of anthracite. I'd say that timber has taken some weight. So there's the load-bearing warped timber. It's 
small intact pillar, somewhat intact. Very nothing back there. Lots of voidage. Mind out area, pretty big over there. Very emaciated looking pillar in the distance. And the gangway. You can see how vast mind out area is up there. Just a sea of timbers. And looking back up the gangway. Just a small two foot gob wall. Some timber in it. Again, to act as that early warning device. Another example of a timber that was taking weight. I wonder why it was taking weight. <laughs> so much coal removed. You think about the tonnage. Just in that small area. Here it is in all its splendor and glory. Infamous anthracite coal. In its natural habitat. That is a good example of an intact coal pillar. If you live in the anthracite coal country, Pennsylvania, and your house sits atop an old mine, you might want to pray to God that you're sitting over an old coal pillar. No, my luck. If I lived in the valley, my house would be sitting on top of this voyage. And I would imagine, given enough time, it will come down. It will cause surface issues. Brim of an old miner's cap. Right off of the gangway. Another semi robbed out coal pillar support. Not much left for that one. In mines, you see many different variations of timbering. This is a cool little one. It's got two or three wedges. Yeah, three wedges on top of it. Third one, top right. That was just to get a nice snug fit against the ceiling and that way if it became load bearing it would start to bow out. Gangway, coal, workings. Awesome top rock. We've seen virtually no collapse in these low vein workings, too. Real good roof. Man, 
that gobbing's just professionally done. It's not falling out and into the gangway. Great job. Kudos to them. They took pride in their work. Gorgeous colors and geology. There's that timber. Wonder how much pressure that took to do that to that mine timber. I'm gonna assume a lot. interesting geologic feature. I'd say there's only about 10 inches of space to that bottom rock. Not even a foot. And that goes a ways up there. How they mine that, I'll never know. A special type of person, that's for sure. So ice forms this time of year from the natural water drip in the ceiling and then the cold outside air draws into the mine, flash freezing the water in place. And this is what causes the majority of collapses at the entrances. People often think that the entrances are backfilled. However, this ice right here is the usual culprit. Beautiful, but dangerous and deadly. You don't want to touch that because it could send pieces of roof down with it when you knock those icicles down.